I know what you're thinking. Glowing up within a week is an ambitious feat, and I'm well aware that you and I, my friends, will be going on quite the endeavor for this. But desperate times call for desperate measures. There's only a week left before I go back to college, and I need fixing now. While some glow up videos only focus on the physical aspect, which I will be taking care of as well, I also wanted to glow up mentally. I wanted to mentally prepare and get me into the right mind space for a successful semester. This means that this week will consist of things from hair dyeing to meditation. So if you guys are ready to go on this journey with me, let's get to it. So rise and shine my loves. It is the first morning of the first day and we're gonna go ahead and go down to the kitchen and get this week started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna start doing is drinking apple cider vinegar every morning. Now you're supposed to do it on an empty stomach, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cheers. Although the acidity of the vinegar water mixture really burned through my throat that first morning, I refused to give in so easily, so I continued to drink that glass before breakfast every morning, and I'm happy to say that it did get a lot easier to drink it by the last day. Something else that I want to do this week is eat well. I just want to be a little bit more conscious about incorporating things that are gonna make the little cells in my body all happy and get all the nutrients that will help me grow big and strong because like I'm a big boy now so I need big boy nutrients. So now I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. So there's my oatmeal. I made it with almond milk. I'm gonna go ahead and put the toppings on there. Now I'm gonna add the peanut butter. Now, I just wanted to explain what I meant by eat well. Although I do hope I get a better body by eating this way, I'm not really looking to lose weight. I just want to fix my relationship with food. I want food to become something that I get excited about eating. I want it to become a part of my life that I'm excited about. I never saw food as something that was fun. Food is such a big part of our lives and such a big part of tradition almost. I mean, when people are happy and they want to celebrate, you go out to eat. I never saw food as something that had positive connotations to it. And it was more of just something that you had to do because if you didn't, you died. And I want to change that. Starting in the fall, I don't have a meal plan anymore. So it's up to little old me to take care of myself and make sure I'm getting all the nutrients and staying healthy. And I just want to do that for myself. Okay, so now it's workout time. I'm gonna follow some of Chloe Ting's ab workout videos. Okay, so this is me at the beginning of the week. Not bad, but definitely not as toned as I wish I was. I was working out really consistently at the beginning of summer because I was gonna go on a beach trip. And then after that, I started being really inconsistent. So I'm trying to get back into that consistency. Okay, so now I'm at my desk. I'm just gonna take the time now to plan out my semester. I have my weekly schedule pulled up and I'm gonna write it all down. I'm a really visual person, so seeing everything written on paper really helps me visualize how my day to day is going to go and what free time I have to work with. I will also be working next semester and hope to have some time for a social life. So planning this out ahead of time really makes me feel more prepared and eases all that stress that could be building up because of this. Back again guys, it's nighttime now and nearly bedtime. Something that I definitely want to do for myself in preparation for this next semester is fix my sleep schedule. It'll make me look better. It'll help me get rid of these eye bags that I've acquired over the summer. Something that I'll be doing while I sleep is I'm going to be listening to subliminals. If you don't know what subliminals are, it's a little difficult to explain, so look them up and you will understand. But right now, I'm going to be listening to a academic success subliminal. So I'll link that in the bio if you're curious and want to check it out. My skincare is going to start in the shower where I use a charcoal cleanser to help purify my pores. I usually do this in the shower because I feel like it's easier and I feel like I just get in there better. Taking time to take care of your skin and your body won't only help you physically because your appearance will obviously improve as your skin gets better, but it'll help you internally. It helps you unwind and taking time to create a stress relief routine is crucial, especially if you're a busy student. 
we're out of the shower and now it is time to continue our skincare and pampering session um i have this mask from sephora that i'm gonna do so as you can see i definitely have a lot of red spots and dry patches i typically don't have problematic skin but recently i went on a road trip and the combination of sweat sun exposure and not eating as well as i should have has definitely taken its toll on my skin so i'm gonna open the face mask and let's try this puppy oh she she's wet oh it's pink oh no it isn't pink that's just a little like protective wrapper thing okay i got my hopes up for nothing mm. oh, okay i love how wet it is that feels so good let's strip my skin feels so fresh now that we have that done Welcome to Naomi's salon. I have the hair dye. I'm going to part my hair while I tell you guys my story, okay? It's a story time now. So in the spring, I decided that, you know what? I wanna change how I look entirely. So I decided to bleach my hair. Evidently, I wasn't satisfied with bleaching it once because then I did it five more times. <laughs> Nothing makes you feel more in control of your life than changing your hair color. Um, truly, this hair color has been a joy. It's been fun. It really has. It's been a great experience. 10 out of 10, I would do it again. It's time to give in and it's time for change. We're starting a new chapter in our lives. I mean, you know, starting a new semester. You wanna start off right. So now I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna go ham. After letting that chemical concoction marinate on my head for about 30 minutes, it was time to wash it all off. Guys, <laughs> what even is this angle? But like, <laughs> okay, I did it. I did the freaking thing. I feel like Princess Mia from Princess Diaries after she gets her like bang and makeover and then her jealous best friend is like, Oh, you changed your hair. Oi, who? destroyed you and she's like has that bucket hat on trying to cover it up you know that's the vibe right now that's the mood anyways okay my heart is racing right now it's so different it's such a big change i'm just like ah! okay ready one two three just like oh my god it's just so it's so different but i really love it it's gonna make it look fake healthy which is good like the lighter your hair is the easier it is to see damage and luckily i didn't have split ends but it would just was so dry i mean you could tell how damaged it was this is gonna make it look a little bit just cuter because unhealthy hair is <laughs> unfortunately <sighs> Hey, so update on the hair situation. I had it parted down the middle and I walked by various reflective surfaces and all I could see was Michael Jackson. So <laughs> I swept it over to the side and now we're doing this. Anyways, we're going to do nails because here is the thing. I really didn't want to go out and get my nails done because I used to be that girl that had her nails done twice or once a month. I used to do that and now I'm just like, that was a lot of work and I just feel like I would pick at them and I wouldn't really take care of them that well anyway, so it wasn't worth it. And then my natural nails, they break. So because they break so often and they're just really gross in general, I don't bite them. They do it all on their own. I don't paint them because I feel like they'll look stupid painted because they're just like little nubs and on my hands. Anyways, so we're gonna put these puppies on. They were like five dollars, so so I'm just gonna do that now and then I'll come back on to show you guys nail transformation. Halfway through doing the nails and I realized that I have abnormally tiny fingernails. So just finished doing the nails. I feel so it just adds so much to it but also it's really annoying because i forgot about this little this little sound it makes not looking forward to that but 
I mean, it does make you feel really put together. It makes you feel like a little bit more girly. It makes your hands look nicer. I have, like, I don't enjoy the look of my hands. I never put any emphasis or spotlight on them. But yeah, so I guess it just make them look a little prettier. It's like makeup for your hands. So that's done. That's the last of the major physical things that I'm doing. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so now this is just to show my body after the seven days. This is definitely like a really good place to start. The whole point of this was just to build new habits. It's really crazy how much you can do in just a week, but I'm definitely not done. Like I'm definitely not just gonna stop doing whatever I was doing. This was more just to get started. So now I just wanna show you guys my skin at the end of the seven days. So definitely nearly all of my red spots are gone. Like I just, I'm so happy because skincare is something that I, I can kind of be a little obsessive over and I hate having just like little things on my face. I hate the feeling, I hate how it looks. So I try really hard to have my skin clear. I do still have like one little, one little red spot right here, but it's not that bad. So I, I can work with this. It's okay. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? I'm an idiot. I really thought I was out of frame. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. So this is it. This is the end of the seven days and with me trying to force a glow up. I just put on this outfit, paired it with this chain. It was giving me like, I don't know what I, I don't know what I, I just thought it looked cute. I don't know what I was trying to do wearing these boots because I wear these with freaking everything. And also, side note, actually, um, I don't know if it's that noticeable. My hair is actually like a little bit lighter now than it was before. Um, turns out I didn't do that great of a job washing the dye out. So, <laughs> yeah, so all the things I did in this video, I am not saying in no way, shape, or form that you have to change your, anything about yourself to feel better. Um, and you don't have to do any of the things I did. All the things that I did, it was more just to make me feel like I was getting a fresh start because it's all about faking it until you make it. And I thought if I got myself into this like right positive mindset of like new beginnings and all of these things, then, then I would really start off the semester right and with the right mentality and I would be overall happier. There's a lot of things that I did this week that I don't think I mentioned or I didn't really film because it'd be kind of boring to watch. Things like meditating or trying to lower my phone usage by reading a book instead. Um, I started to remember to take my vitamins every day, which is something I was so bad at. I tried to stay hydrated this week. My goal was a gallon of water a week. And I nearly got to that. I nearly reached it nearly every single day. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Really what this week was about for me was just trying to avoid and prevent any of the stress that a new semester can bring or any of the anxieties that come with going back to school, especially if you're in college and you live on campus because you're literally living there, that's your life. Although it can be so fun and I'm so excited to move back in. At the same time, there are still these feelings that I can't really avoid of just all these anxieties of all these things that could go wrong. I just kind of wanted to take precautions and decided why not film a video on it because it would most likely make me feel like more obligated to actually go through with everything and hold me accountable for doing all these things. If I'm actually on camera and having to show the four people that watch my videos that I'm doing it. So yeah, that is it for this week's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and that you may consider watching some of my other videos. So I love you and thanks for watching. Bye.